I don't want to start the fatigue chapter yet. I have a couple of things set up here that, um, that I'll do. But uh, you can see what I mounted on here. And it kind of turns slightly. Uh, is that in the front is that uh, the laminated beam. In the back is the, uh, uh, the unlaminated beam, or the, uh, the, the uniform uh, beam. I've clamped them in between. So what I should have is four cantilever beams of identical natural frequency. Uh, the one in the front should have higher damping than the one in the back. So all I'm gonna do is there. So that's just about resonance. That's pretty serious, so you should be able to see that. Uh, that the amplitude here is substantially less than the amplitude out there, or you could look at the left-hand side, it doesn't really matter. But that's really what I'm trying to, uh, to illustrate, is that they are all resonating, but the amplitude of the back one is substantially less than the amplitude of the front one. Uh, what I have going here, I hope. Uh, what turns out to be hard to see by the naked eye, uh, what I did during the last demonstration, and I have the data stored here, uh, and if I have time, I'll actually hit set the hardware up to do it, but I'll show you the data, is this side over here I mentioned earlier that I put that foam on there to try to dampen it with the hopes that I could show the, the difference between the damping of this one, which would be very, very light, because there really isn't anything there. The damping of this one, which is very highly damped because of the constrained layer damping. And then if I add some sort of external damping treatment, that I should get some something in between those two. Uh, so where I generated the uh, this data, anybody guess what I was doing there? just going boing, 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 and plucking the undamped one. And you can see it does, in fact, behave the way that you would expect. So all I was doing was just doing this. And the way that I was getting this data, uh, so I, I don't have it set up that way on this, uh, in this. I can set it up later if I have the time. If you take an accelerometer and mount it uh, right here dead center, so I took an accelerometer, mounted it right on top, so that's the input. And then I took double-sided tape and put another one here. So I could take the double sticky tape and I could stick it here, get a response, and then put it over here, do it again, put it over here, do it again. So I could get the response for the uh, constrained layer damping one, the foam one, and the undamped one. So that was how I got uh, all of this data. But just for uh, so you can see exactly what's going on. Let's do this. There. So it looks pretty nice. That's a really nice ring down curve. So you could in fact get the damping ratio out of that. We'll try to take that and compare it to this. That's obviously the, the uh, laminated one. It doesn't ring at all, basically dead. And then you can compare that to the foam lined one. And I, it's, it's nowhere near the laminated one, but it is in fact better than the, uh, the undamped one. And I could do the same thing. Let's see if I've got them. There's one. So this is a sign sweep. There it is. Blue is the input and red is the response. I could zoom in on it if I wanted, but there's really not a lot of need. What I'm looking for is the ratio of this to that. So that's the transmissibility. So this would be the transmissibility or amplification at resonance for the undamped. And you do the same thing with the, where is it, there it is. You 
you can see already what's going on with this one. The difference between the blue and the red is substantially smaller, therefore the magnitude at resonance is substantially smaller. And last but not least, with the foam applied, not great, but a little less. So the foam did something. And I tried to address this the other day, that um, when you do cantilever beam analysis, these stress analysts out there, the maximum stress, i.e. maximum strain, occurs right at the root, which is right here, where I don't have any foam. So if I could get foam closer to this edge, where the strains are largest, it would probably have a larger effect. But you know, I basically did this during one of the breaks, decided, oh, you know, I happen to have some of this, this, uh, this foam here. Uh, it's actually weather stripping, so the stuff that you would seal your doors and windows with. Um, I had a roll of it at work, so I just throw it out just to see. Because uh, it should have a similar effect. You can see it doesn't work near as well as the little L fixture over there. The L fixture works really, really well uh, in damping all that stuff out. Uh, okay, so um, Let's, uh, we'll take a break and then we will uh, we'll start the fatigue chapter, which I have no chance of actually finishing before the end of the day, but we'll try to make a significant dent in it at least.